This is the twelfth time of Welcome to the startup this. lesson. Today it's we late. will practice the engine start sleep. procedure for the P51D. Work in the morning. Press the space bar key to begin. I'm gonna do this. I get all the way up until the freaking starter right here, and I burn that sucker out. Because I can't get these things to spin. I don't know where my ground crew is. Should be around here somewhere. They should walk on over. They should grab these, and they should spin them and prime them up for me. I don't do any of this stuff. I fly. I don't start engines. I'm not used to starting engines. I don't want to start engines. It's not going to start the engine. But I will do. Wait, I'll listen to him this time. So he's completely done talking. And then I will do what he wants. So I have thorough understanding. All right. Start up session. Press the space bar to begin. Space bar. The engine start sequence is not very complicated. Yes, it we'll is. Move around the cockpit clockwise, starting on the left side to configure the aircraft for engine start. Let's begin with the flaps control handle, positioned to the rear bottom left side of the cockpit. For a normal takeoff, flaps are not usually lowered. However, 15 to 20 degrees of flaps can be used when a minimum run takeoff is required. Set the flaps control handle all the way up to the up position. To do this, you can either click and drag the handle with the mouse, or press left that. shift plus F command repeatedly until it is all the way up. Note, the flaps won't actually come up until the engine Ooh. is running, and there is sufficient pressure on the hydraulic system to raise it. No, 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 no. The ha no! No. 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 an inch. No, no, no. So we're not distracted by nothing else. Get closed! Nope. That, that's close. That's good enough. It's much quieter. Alright, what do I need to do? I need to pull this to the full upright position. Now set the carburetor yes. induction system for normal operation by moving the cold air control handle mm -hmm. all the way forward to the ram air position and the hot air control handle all the way forward to the normal position. Cold air all the way forward. Next, set the coolant and oil forward. radiator air control switches to the auto position for automatic operation of the coolant and oil radiator flap doors. To do so, left click on the auto switch positions. Don't forget to close the switch covers after. Adjust the trim tabs to prepare for takeoff. They're set rudder set trim to 5 degrees right. Elevator trim depends on fuel load. With the fuselage tank well, empty, elevator trim can be left neutral. Nope, with the fuselage much. tank filled with 25 gallons or more, elevator trim should be set between 2 and 4 degrees there nose down. Aileron trim remains neutral. To On the, the throttle quadrant, ensure down. the propeller RPM lever marked P is set all the way forward to increase and the fuel mixture lever marked M is set to idle cutoff. Set the throttle handle about one inch forward from the full back position to slightly open the throttle butterfly valve and allow air to flow to the engine. I think if I you don't a have mistake. a throttle controller, the plus and minus keys on the keyboard numpad can be used to move the throttle handle. This right here needs to go all the way forward. No, all the way forward. There we go. I wasn't doing that before. I didn't see that. It was hidden. Now I have a throttle. So I'm going to increase this. Uh, about one inch forward from full back. Slightly open. So that's full back. And we're going about an inch forward. That's an inch. Alright, we're going full forward. No, we're going back. We're going to... Moving to the engine control panel on the front dash, turn on the fuel booster pump by setting the fuel booster switch to the up position by clicking over up the position. switch. 
Hold on. Select the left and right magnetos to provide power to the engine ignition system by so setting the ignition switch my, uh, to both. Tracker IR, which I finally got today, keeps hitting freaking microphone. On the there fuel control Set panel, ensure that the left wing tank is selected for fuel consumption by checking that the fuel selector valve is set to the main All tank right. LH position. Open the fuel the shutoff valve by clicking on it to set it to the on position. Click and on. Let's set the parking on. brake to make sure we remain stationary when the engine begins to pull. You may want to open the controls indicator by pressing right control plus enter to monitor the positions of your flight controls, no. including the brakes. We Setting can, the parking brake takes a few steps. We can First, see our pull out and hold the parking brake handle by clicking so and holding it. That. Pick and hold. Next, while continuing to hold the parking brake holding. handle, fully press the brake pedals by holding down the W key. W keys. Continuing pressed. to hold the parking brake handle, mm -hmm. release the wheel brakes by releasing the W key. Releasing W. Now release the parking brake handle to set the parking brake. If done correctly, the parking brake handle should remain in the pulled out position. Uh, we'll now move on to the yeah, electrical control panel on out. the right side of the cockpit. Right. Set the battery switch to the up position to provide electrical power. Also, set the generator switch to the up position to prepare the generator to take over once the engine is running over 1500 Sweet. to 1700 RPM. I like that sound. Click and hold the primer switch on the engine control panel for about one second to feed some fuel to the engine. When started in cold temperatures, up to four seconds of prime may be necessary. All right. One Mississippi. That seems good to me. Maybe we need more. Two Mississippi. We are now ready to attempt an engine start. To do so, first press and hold the starter switch to operate the starter and begin turning the engine. As the engine begins to catch, move the fuel mixture control lever on the throttle quadrant to the run position by right clicking on it once. If you aren't able to start the engine successfully, Return the fuel mixer lever to idle cutoff by left clicking and repeat the process starting with priming We're the skipping engine. the whole doing Note, that. As the engine spins. starter can be easily overheated. The starter uh -huh, should not be used for more problem. than four 20 second attempts to start, with 15 second intervals, followed by a five minute cooling off period. Alright. First 20 second start. Fingers crossed, everyone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. <sighs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Everyone again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five. Come on, prime. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, <sighs> this is really, really getting on my nerves. So what do I do now? I ain't waiting five minutes. Got that on run. Everything's set. Let's give more throttle. All the way up. We got this. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Freaker. All right. I'll try to get this done in the morning. Get the frick out of here. Gah. Ah. 